Hello, hi, how are you today? Today I want to talk about eclipse season because it's really not over yet. Welcome, I'm Patricia and I'm here to help you with your activations and your integration of your new light body. Let's get into it. What about eclipse season? Well, this can happen a couple times a year, but this year, this one's really a doozy. Are you noticing some of these things? First, did you wake up tired? Are you feeling world weary? There's different levels and types of tiredness, everything ranging from fatigue, from really long term, long standing things that just grate on you. It can really affect your body. This is a little bit like world weariness and you're going to feel it wave through the collective and there's a reason and the reason is war like it or not several countries are at war and we're all feeling it we're feeling the ill effects of it unless you gear up your new light body and begin to do the work that lifts you above feeling this does it make you completely immune no but i'll tell you what won't happen it's not going to make you deathly ill like it has in past lives there's a thing about this. Your body can store the stuff up whether you realize it or not. And in fact, through your ancestry, through your biology, you probably have stored up stuff that lingers and then it hits you at some point. You kind of hit that brick wall and you're like, wow, why am I sick? Or boom, why did I get you know this illness at this time? And the fact of the matter is, is this actually pertains to the past. It pertains to what's happening in the collective. Your job, your task after you had your first awakening is detached from the collective. Now, that's a hard thing to strike a balance with because there's a paradox. How do you stop caring about what happens to people, your people, your family, the rest of humanity, and just focus on yourself? You sometimes may be told that you're selfish or are you doing self-care? That self-care has to include your new light body. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I mean, that's that's not breaking news. I've been saying this out here for years, but gearing up your new light body, expanding it, getting adept at it, knowing what it does, what it doesn't do how to feed it, how to sleep in it. How do you sleep in your new light body? People are struggling all over the world with their sleep issues. How do you eat properly, especially when there are cycles like this? Here's some of the other uh, telltale signs. Do you feel like something yanks you up and you can feel it in the upper part of your gut, like, oh, something brought you up. You feel a bit nauseous, you feel vertigo, or you feel dizzy, or you feel like there's swirling head energy even when you're sitting still. That is one of the hallmarks of this. Now, mind you, I'm not here to diagnose if you might have a brain tumor. So you have to know your body. You have to know thyself. Yet these are really strong ascension symptoms. And they're happening for people who are getting on track. Okay. Your task in this, again, focus on you and focus on working with your light body. That is what I teach. So what are other weird things that are happening? Well, there are misunderstandings. There are miscommunications, but they're not like Mercury retrograde kind of things. They're kind of like, uh, how, how'd that happen? Or you feel like you have to repeat things three or four times. It's not like something pushed you backwards. It's like you're uh, honestly like up against that brick wall going like, you know, making twirling. You're twirling and twirling and twirling and twirling, just like when your computer gets laggy and it's just twirling and it's just spinning in space. Are you spinning in space? Please stop, get off onto the next level, raising your vibration, using your new light body. I can't, I, I'm saying this, but I want to me, me really emphasize this, that that is what helps you, okay? Railing at your twin flame isn't going to help you. Getting busy and rolling up your sleeves and participating in this will help you. It Do you feel like people around you are micromanaging? I'm going to be straight up from what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing. Men particularly are having a really hard time with this. 
They're having a hard time because things are out of control and yet they're still trying to control things. Even if they're not a drinker or a drugger, they're doing the same things and try, expecting it to bring different results. And it's not, okay? We can't micromanage some of the things anymore. We need participation. We need true manageability. We need responsibility, accountability. This is raising the bar on everyone's accountability first and foremost for yourself. How do you be accountable? Well, one way is get my daily routine. Then you have a plan. Then you're not relying on little blurbs and, you know, spiritual platitudes and scriptures and really ancient stuff that honestly sometimes doesn't help. Sometimes you just can't be motivated. You're in a mood. You don't feel okay. You know you got to put one foot in front of the other. You know you're here to do this. How many of you, you know you're here to do this? Let me ask you another question. You can answer in the comments. Let me ask you. As a child, did you ever feel like you were here to meet someone? This is a lingering feeling throughout many people's lives that I've spoken to. And I've spoken to a lot of people over the years. Even people that didn't even have a session or join my webinar. They're just kind of like, I know I'm here to be with someone. And it's that simple. And that's a lot of what you think are the dunderheads going around. They're sitting there going like, when is this going to happen? How do you not know you're the person on the other side of that? Wondering the same thing and then you're both just kind of spinning and twirling in space. Please stop. Start taking charge. Get my daily routine. The link is below for the pre-sale and have a plan. You came here with a plan, you forgot the plan, and this is a part of your plan. This is a part of the plan that helps you do the steps and keep going. When motivation fails you, when your willpower fails you, where your sheer personal will fails you, when your human side is just human and you fail as a human because you're human, okay? That's why you need your light body. Because your light body has the perfection. Your light body is the conduit, is the vessel. So it has to flow through you. What do you do if things are disturbing your flow? What do you do? Well, here's a couple of things that I tell people, okay? I found a few texts from my son today and he was like, Oh, I'm so angry. And I was like, TGIF, it's Friday. And he was like, Ugh. You know, like he's like lurch, like that black cloud was over him today. Ugh. And I was like, do your basics, do a little bit of gratitude. Like, what are you grateful for? And then just do your essentials. Stop thinking about everyone else on the planet. Think about you. Stop doom scrolling. That should go without saying, but got to say it. Okay. What needs to get in your flow? What is the one thing that could help you get in your flow? Well, I'll tell you one of the things that I teach, and it's breath work. And not just any kind of breath work. We're not like holding our nostril. That's not going to cut it for this. You have to use the breath purposefully. And that's what I teach. Because there's different techniques with the breath that help you with your brand new light body. Okay, these are just a couple of things to do when things are disturbing your flow. Miscommunications, misunderstandings. What do you do? You just bow out. Don't engage. Don't fight. Don't argue with people. They're going to want to find a target to argue with. Don't give them the gasoline. Okay? It could be your family. It could be just some joker on the street. I mean, like you're trying to park your car and someone's like, blah, 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 and you're just like, what? Or if you're like people in my family, you're ready for battle. You're like, what did you say to me? Let's go. Let's go. Do you do you know who I am? Right? And there's people like that. There's people that cringe and want to hide. They're like, oh my God, this is such a hard world. And other people that are like, you know what? Now I've had it. And neither one, those are two extremes. We got to bring it to the middle. So I'm telling you. Stop engaging with the insanity that's out there because it's out there. It's being shaken up. People can't hide it. They can't shove it in their gut. They can't swallow it. They can't foist it upon you. They'll try. Okay. This is where your light body comes in because your light body forms 
the protective structure around you and it goes like it like pings away from you and out and be straight up sometimes it gets almost amusing it would be so it would be amusing if it wasn't so deadly serious sometimes where you look and you're like oh my god like that just really worked how would it be for you if your like body and your higher self and your guides are like yay they're getting on track it goes so much more smoothly do you know what conflict does to your body okay now here's a few other really good things that happen because when you work on your brand new light body people rise up to meet you where you're at not the other way around you're not stooping to their lowered vibration okay whatever's going on with them energetically we're not stooping energetically they're pulled up and they're on their p's and q's they're saying what's in their heart well I really wanted this, but I know I asked for that, but what can I do? And I like under other circumstances, they would be like, why didn't you say that to begin with? And now it's just like, okay, we can do that, right? You said what was in your heart. Truth telling. Some of the men sometimes, they're almost adorable because they're like little boys that, quite frankly, they're telling on themselves. They don't even have to be busted out. They're saying it. And in a way, this is part of the atonement for maybe whatever has happened. Maybe whatever they've done. Maybe for what they won't do. Okay, understand that in this energy, we are removing possibilities. We are removing things. Is it possible for this to happen to you? Is it possible for that to happen to you? No. We are removing possibilities. It's going to feel like doors closing because that's frankly how it feels. It's going to feel like you're losing people. Things aren't in your flow. And what happens? Things are actually being removed on your behalf because that's how cool that this is. And that's how we roll as twin flame lovers. Emphasis on the lovers part because funneling in the love to your body and holding it for others while they go through their awakenings that is a huge task but it's not a hard one the hard part is purging this stuff and healing it and getting rid of it that is my specialty please come to me so that you can see how easy this is that's what i really pride myself upon is when people tell me days later patricia you're not going to believe what happened like this thing shifted and then I could feel like the door closed and that person was removed from my path in the nicest way possible. And I'm like, by now, I'm always humbled and amazed still. I don't take any of it for granted. And please don't you either. Do not take your awakening for granted. The fact that you have someone who loves you. The fact that you even felt that level of love to begin with. Don't get discouraged. Don't let the weight of the world grate on you and get you down. We have a plan. We're here to be real. And when I say be real, this means full spectrum. That means whatever you are, however you feel things, what you feel on a particular given day, what you feel for the moment. And this is another beautiful thing about your light body. People don't just hear what you say. They're feeling it. They're feeling your truth. You can be open and honest and vulnerable and, and feel safe because you are safe and protected. Here's another telltale sign in these energies. So we have like a new moon. We've got eclipses. We've got change of season. Bam, bam, bam. But your dreams. Are you having a dream of a building or a house, going from room to room, checking the rooms? Some, some stuff seems old. You may encounter what I call old people, not elderly people, but people from your past. There's kind of a mix of new people, former people, people you're not sure of, and you're just wandering through the rooms, maybe not wandering, but and another telltale sign is a staircase staircases that go up a level or down and 
this is part of your multidimensionality. This is symbolic of how is it to go up and go to another level and be loved and supported there and go to the main level, which is your main living level, and then even go down. If you have to go to some weird karmic vibey level, like low vibe, right? Okay, so I'm covering these things in my last segment, which is about surrender and your sacred grid. We offer sessions to help you. We offer energy healing. And it's not just energy healing. The energy healing unplugs, seals you, and helps you integrate your new life body. Run wasn't built in a day. Get started now. How are you going to do this? Are you ready for your plan? Or are you relying on some kind of random, you know, motivational little thingies? Like, okay, have your plan. That's what I recommend. Those other things are like little cherries on the day. Like you're like, oh, I saw the nicest little saying today. Or I heard a song lyric. It's even better when it goes right through your body. How would you like to become the person who is saying those things? That's even better. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please pay attention to what is going on because we are long past the point of no return. Join us, won't you? Okay, so thanks so much and see you soon. If you want to check it out, Twin Flame Ring Connection. Dot com. Please like and subscribe. It helps my channel. And please donate to the American Red Cross. There is a massive effort to get to people and help the people that are still alive. It's a problem. That's what I'm doing. So do your part. And thank you so much. Bye.